first car bodies were made of steel, then they added aluminium to the mix, and now there's carbon fiber. Why this mix up? I'm losing track here. Yes, it may seem a bit confusing at first glance, but it actually is quite simple. At BMW, we have an approach that we call efficient dynamics. Efficient dynamics stands for all sorts of technologies in our cars that noticeably reduce emissions and consumption while simultaneously increasing the driving fun and the performance. One of these technologies obviously is lightweight construction. The idea is to reduce masses to create a more sporty road behavior. So why the material mixer? We choose the given alloy depending on its function. A classic material in car manufacturing and also for car bodies is steel. Steel is very tough and it is very rigid, but it's also very heavy. Obviously, for a car like the new BMW i8, we want to avoid heavy. First, because the battery already puts some extra weight on the scale, and second, because it's a sports car. So we applied aluminium in large parts into what we call the new drive module. The drive module houses, among other things, the drivetrain and the chassis. The use of aluminium saves up to 30% of weight compared to steel. But what really tips the scale here is a compound which previously has been used for race cars, airplanes and spacecraft, never in mass production. Carbon fiber. It is very light and yet it is very rigid. The so-called life module, which comprises the passenger's cabin, is almost entirely made of carbon fiber. This door structure, for instance, with carbon fiber beams and an aluminium skin, amounts to just half the weight of traditional doors. This weight-saving approach resumes even in the BMW Y8's interior. The instrument panel, for instance, sits in a frame made of magnesium. This saves up to 30% of weight compared to customary solutions, and it makes the cell more rigid. So, all in all, despite the weight disadvantage typical for a plug-in hybrid car, I'm just saying heavy battery, the BMW i8 puts only 1,490 kilograms on the scale, perfectly in line with conventional sports cars.